Alright, Taylor and I have been invited to an off-road go-kart race out in Tennessee, so we're going to find an old go-kart and get it fixed up. What's up guys? This is Taylor at Go Power Sports. I got Jason right here. We're going to pick up our Murray Kilowatt. So we're going to get the cart, check it out, uh, do some extreme modifications to it, make sure it's tested and ready. You win. Perfect. Well, I'm excited. Uh, what else did we do, Zach? I don't think we did much else than that. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty pumped. Yeah, I'm pretty pumped about it, too. Yeah. We're going to modify it a lot. What are you planning on doing it uh, with it? Uh, mostly suspension stuff. Okay. A lot more travel. Motor. Make it fast. Yeah. This is our Murray Kilowatt that we picked up from actually one of our customers. We're going to do a full overhaul on this bad boy. What we're going to do right now, we're going to take it for a spin, see how it handles, and after that we're going to tear it down, put a lot bigger tires on the front, double A arms, and we'll start with the suspension first. It really handles pretty well for a single A-arm go-kart. You don't get really any push in the front end. So as far as the wheelbase, I think we'll keep that the same. But it's going to be wider. We're going to take it inside and start tearing it down. Alright, just stop, take a breather. <laughs> we are putting this Murray Kilowatt up on jack stands. We've got some 27 by 8 Scorpions being brought down here to put on the front. Um, and then we're either doing 18s or 22s on the back. We gotta see uh, how the engine reacts to each tire. It already looks way better. Oh, who turned the pressure on? So, 
For the front end, we've got our rack and pinion that we're going to use. It's the 90 degree one, not the 45 since it's a single seater. For our front control arms, we're going to do two control arms, lower and an upper. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this front end off where the control arm is currently mounted to. And we're going to redo the whole thing based around this rack and pinion. It's going to be good. So before we cut this off, we're going to unbolt this roll cage, get it out of the way because we're going to redo it anyway. What I'm doing now for the Murray Kilowatt go-kart is yesterday we bent these hoops on our Rogue Fab uh, tube bender which was awesome. So after laying out all the dimensions and figuring out how long we actually want the A-arms, um, I drew out my angles that the A-arms at, my dimension for how long it's going to be, and I marked each one where I'm going to cope it. And once I cope it, weld it up. So for now, I've got three more of these to do. Then I'm going to end up welding them together. I'm going to end up putting a shock mount that's adjustable so we can figure out where exactly we want the shock along the arm. So, yeah. Okay, so I am going to cut these spindles down. I'm going to come down to about four and a quarter inches. I'm going to start welding these A-arms up. I've got them all fit together. So right now on the plasma mount, we're going to cut the knuckle and shock mount stuff. And uh, then we'll have that stuff done and we'll be ready to build our box that the air is actually not to that gets welded to the front of the go-kart. We got done cutting the pieces on the plasma table. Got them all cleaned up, the edges polished. So let's weld them up so we can continue on orders. Our next step on the kilowatt is we've got our, uh, our control arm assembly. We need to put that on here, but before we do that, we need to lock the front end. Alright, so I'm going to clean these off so I don't get cut on them. the hoops put on, get leveled out, tacked up, and then we'll be able to think about how we're actually going to attach the control arms and the shock tower, all that good stuff. Alright, so working on the front end, I put in one cross member up here, I put in one back here that our pedal uh, attachment is now attached to. But I'm going to go ahead and tack these. That way I can steal my magnets and get the front ones set up all where I like them. I got everything taken off the front end. I got the floor pan taken out and everything out of the way. Because now it's time to weld.
looks a bit different. Um, pretty much everything on it is different. But, the uh, rack and pinion I got that in, I used the two hole bearing kit for the steering. Um, we've got our nice steering wheel on it. And uh, overall not bad. So, now, the whole thing squats pretty well evenly. So, now just need to get cleaned up and finalized as far as shocks and stuff go. Now I've got to figure out how to mount this correctly because right now it's just kind of in place. I'm going to do that. We're going to probably cut this off. That way we can get the engine out easier later and pull the roll cage off of that and over. And uh, yeah, step that up. All right, so I got everything. Everything's welded up. I did put a hydraulic brake on this, so I took the old uh, manual brake off and all the stuff that came with it. The next item of business is the roll cage. We want to get the roll cage done so we can get our seat belt and stuff, and then the engine will be able to come on. So what exactly is this? Well, I'm calling it the Go Power Pig. The Go Power Pig. Yeah, why not? So the Go Power Pig has a bunch of parts on it. What frame is this? This is a Murray Kilowatt, but it's not Murray Kilowatt anymore. Right. It's highly yeah. modified. Obviously, tons of suspension work, roll cage, engine, torque converter, brakes, the whole steering system, the rack and pinion. I Junior got finished up with the Go Power Pig. Thing's pretty sweet. The suspension on there is top notch. It handles like a champ. Bigger engine with the Stage One kit and our drag pipe. But unfortunately, the race got canceled. No biggie. I'll go ahead and link all the parts to this go kart down below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ride on.